So here is our 41 year old Hardwick gas range. It's got two problems. The first very common problem is that one or more of the stovetop burners will spark but it won't ignite. So let's try this side. So after about six or seven clicks that one lights. Six or seven clicks that one lights. Back one does not light. Neither one on this side lights. Okay, and then our second problem. Second problem, the oven does not spark at all. Should be sparking right now, it does not spark. Okay, smell gas though. So we actually have two of these ranges. I've already fixed the 20 inch. I suspect this one will have the same problem. Okay, now there are two sparkers or spark plug type devices, one here and one here. The gas comes through these pipes, so depending upon which controller you've used, there's gas in that section and the sparker will ignite it. So we know the sparker is working because we can hear them click, but this one, here's what's usually wrong with these. So I'm using a quarter inch Craftsman screwdriver to remove these flat head screws. Okay, so that's the center electrode. Those could be dirty, this one is not. But what usually happens, this would be on a spark plug, this is called the side electrode. Well, on this stove, for lack of a better term, I'll call it the top electrode. And we can see some rust here. So when this gets rusty in here, or it gets all carbonized, it'll be black and carbonized, it will not spark. Now the spark jumps to this bracket and goes to ground through the stove. So if you've got any kind of high resistance anywhere on this bracket or anywhere on the stove top, it doesn't spark. So we've got to clean the rust off of here, got to clean the rust off of here, we've got to clean the rust off of here, we're going to do that on the wire wheel. We're going to put this in a vice grip, clean it up on a wire wheel, come back, clean this up, we'll screw it down and see if it doesn't work. Best to use a vice grip for this job because the wire wheel is quite powerful and will rip it right out of your hands. Also right out of a normal pair of pliers. So here we go, vice grips. <laughs>
All right, let's see if that made any difference. Front one. Back one. It's as easy as that. Now, if this works for you, may as well do the other one because it's not going to be that far behind. Well, let's see how this one is. Holy cow. How's that for rust? Good thing we checked. How's that? That a little better? Now, regarding the Dremel tool with the wire wheel, this type of wire wheel works a lot better than the original one I was using, which is more like an inverted cup. So, if you're going to buy one of these six or seven dollar kits, make sure it has this kind of wheel. Where does all this rust in come from? Well, it, we, you know, they say if you live in New England and you don't like the weather, stick around. It's a beautiful day today, but tomorrow could be sweltering and very high humidity. It just changes from day to day. It's unbelievable. Okay, let's see if we still works. Pretty good. That's it. Okay, stovetop burners fixed. Now, the oven burner is going to be a lot harder because from experience, I know that that is the spark module. Here's the new one. New one's already come in. It's an orange part. It is located here on this model was located in a different spot on the smaller Hardwick range. So, so let's tackle that job. All right. So the sparker, spark module, is under this cover. And obviously we're going to be dealing with electricity. So the first thing we want to do is reach down here and unplug the stove. I'll get this out of the way too. Okay, we don't have to disconnect the gas. Just have to work on this here. So I'll take off these screws, see if we can expose it. Okay, so here's the old one. We'll have to unscrew it from the stove, try to swing it around and very carefully mark all those wires. Okay, these are the two units. This is actually the failed unit from the 20 inch Hardwick. And it's marked Harper Wyman Cool Light Model 6513 4 milliamp. And it's replaced with this aftermarket model 977. The orange one works perfectly. Now here's how the, here's what's involved. The strongest spark comes in on manual number one. That controls, I forget, either the left or right side top burners. The next strongest spark comes in on manual two. And the oven sparks here on REIG4. So this is where the oven is connected. Now you, you don't want to confuse these wires. 
And also, here's the thing that's often recommended. If you want to prove that your igniter module is at fault, you can remove number one wire from here, remove the oven wire from here, and plug it into number one. And the oven will start sparking there. That doesn't fix your problem because the oven will come on, run for a while, shut off, and then come back on automatically. And of course, your top burners don't do that. Additionally, even though this proves that you have a bad sparker module, moving those wires around causes further damage to the block. And you'll read a lot of people online who end up with something where no matter which side of the top burners you turn on, left or right, they all ignite. So not advised, but if but that's, that's how you can prove it. Or you can just take someone else's word. This is going to be the problem. So now we've got to carefully identify the wires and put this one in. Well, I've got the old one out. I've got a spider web in here. New one is in. Now, those wires require a needle nose pliers to be, most of them anyways, require a needle nose. They're really tight. So you want to make sure you get them back in nice and tight. I think I've got everything tight. Let's try it before we put the cover back on. Okay, if the Divine wants this stove to last another 40 years, we should hear some sort of a spark. Oh no. It's this one that's sparking. Okay, we've got that problem solved. Now, this is the original style module. On the replacement module, the wires that had been in manual one and manual two, which are controlling these burners, stovetop burners, these wires have to reverse. And if you don't reverse these wires, you have the problem that we just ran into. Now that also happened to me on our 20 inch stove. So I thought it was me and I forgot about it. But this time I was very, very careful to mark all the wires. It happened again. So I know it's not me. It, the new module works perfectly. You've just got to reverse these two wires. So word to the wise. Otherwise, we have what looks like a brand new stove. Everything is working perfectly. These burners. These burners. Now listen to the oven. You're going to get two or three clicks. That lights the pilot. And then about 20 seconds later, this comes on and gets real warm. Okay, lit the pilot. Take about 20 seconds. It'll flame up. That'll get whatever this temperature is set to. It'll get real warm right away. I even replaced the clock. This clock has not worked probably in 20 years. We've got a new clock in there. So like a brand new stove, it's not in the dump. Let's see if it can last another 40. Thanks for watching.